looks like there's a, a few people still uh, straggling in, but uh, thank all of you for coming out here today. Welcome to Google Office in Pittsburgh. So excited to be here. Uh, this is my first time at this office, so pretty excited to see and meet all of you. Uh, my name is Kyle Paul. I am the North America Regional Lead for our Developer Ecosystems team. So this is probably a team you probably haven't heard much about uh, at Google, but I uh, hope to do ho hope to cover a little bit more about uh, what we're doing uh, and get my Google Assistant to stop responding to me. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, so I'm the North America Regional Lead for our Developer Ecosystem programs that we have at Google, and. Uh, obviously, this event is our machine learning summit, and uh, all of us have probably heard the buzzwords, you know, machine learning, artificial intelligence, you know, what does all this mean? What do we do? All of you are, are experts in this field, or you're studying in this field, and so what we wanted to do is put together an event for all of you to come together, to network, to learn from each other, to learn from other experts in the field, and so that's the, the fun, uh, fun part of this event. But to kick everything off, we wanted to cover our code of conduct. Every event has one of these, and uh, we strictly enforce this uh, at all of our events that we do at Google. And but essentially, what it comes down to is, you know, be respectful, be kind. You know, everybody is here to learn. Everybody's here to share their knowledge, um, and we're all here to network with each other. So that's a, that's a big important piece there. Uh, the link is up there for if you want to read the full policy. Uh, we also have it posted at various points around the room and outside in the common area. So if you want to uh, follow up a little bit more about it. Uh, the other big thing is if you happen to have any concerns that arise during the event today or any, uh, any questions or anything like that, you can find anybody with a Google badge and we will be more than happy to quickly address whatever the issue is for all of you. So there's that. And uh, we have some specific event goals today. So th this is goals that my team has put together uh, by putting these events uh, together. Uh, so we want to you know, inform all of you. So bring all of you together to share on your experiences, to share knowledge. What is Google doing in this space, for example? And that leads into the education piece. You know, uh, there are some th projects that we're working on at Google that are pretty new and exciting, and we want to be able to share those with you, but then also educate from each other, because it's not all Googlers that we have up here today. But we want to share you know, what other verticals are working on in the machine learning space, in the artificial intelligence space. And inspire you to create, to design, to develop new things in, the, in this, these spaces as well. And the most important piece, uh, how many of you here know the person uh, seated two seats next to you. Not the person next to you, but two seats over. Two seats over? Uh, so we got a couple here. All right, so, so uh, I challenge you here today to meet somebody that you have not met before, see what they're doing in this space, and learn a little bit more about you know, what they're studying, what their, their goals are in machine learning and artificial intelligence. So it's, that's the, uh, another huge goal in this event. On social media. So this is an event you can talk about. So, uh, so we are sharing things today here that uh, are either uh, newly released or uh, are general public knowledge. And so this is an event you could talk about and we ask you to share you know, about the connections, what it has been inspiring you. So this is the hashtag and the at that you can do on your Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, um, whatever social media you're connected with. Uh, but we'd love to see you know, what inspires you and excites you about this. And then another quick thing to, to show off here, um, in May, our Google developers team went through a rebrand. So this is just kind of show, whenever you're looking at our Google online developer docs, yes please, there's plenty of space. <laughs> so whenever you're looking at our developer docs or you see events online, uh, so these are the two different logos that you'll see. and. Uh, whether it's our community programs, our developer documentation, events, uh, you'll see it on your little name badges as well. Uh, so this is just kind of showing you whenever you're out in the world, this is the kind of uh, the new Google identity for all of you, the Google developers. With our 
team on the developer ecosystem, we have this unique ability where we are not tied to any specific, uh, specific product at Google. We are for all products at Google. So if something is really exciting to you and you want to give us a thumbs up, let, let us know how you're using it, what is really cool about this product. We'd love to hear it. But we also, more importantly, want to hear about the bad. How can we fix this for you? You know, what is going wrong? What makes it uh, to where you're not able to do your job as well? Uh, another thing that we hear some of the times because, you know, all, a lot of us use the cloud space, AWS does this really, really well. Why don't you guys do it? Let us know that too. We want to be able to help serve in this space. So where, where can we be better at for you in the cloud? Let us know this. And this is throughout the day. Uh, some of the other things, so more specifically what we do on the developer ecosystem team is we look at uh, per, these community programs uh, globally. And so here in North America, we have our Google developer groups. So you might see these around as GDGs. Unfortunately, we don't have one here in Pittsburgh, but we would like to get one going. So if you are interested, please let us know. We'd love to get one started here. Another thing that we, uh, I'll be talking a little bit more about here in a second is our Google Developer Experts program. So this is a program where we highlight individuals who are experts in Google product XYZ. And we invite them to speak at events. We invite them to, we, they have special opportunities to speak at community events. Uh, we publish them on our, um, our Google Developer Medium blog posts, things like that. I invite them to do YouTube videos with us. So you, you might see these you know, online already. We, we actually have two Google, De Google Developer experts speaking here today. So uh, you'll have an opportunity to talk with them and see more about from their side on their experiences in the program. And during all of the breaks, we have a booth set up out in the common area there to learn more about the program as well. Then we also have our Launchpad program, which is designed for those in the startup space, uh, where it's tied to uh, accelerators and incubators on basically leveling up your startup's knowledge in using Google tools. And then we have our Women in Technology, uh, Women Tech Makers program, sorry, Women Tech Makers pro program, which partners with all of our different community groups to highlight and empower women in technology and provide them resources and education towards uh, their goals in the technology space. And then we also uh, recently launched, as of a couple months ago, uh, here in North America, our developer student clubs. And this is providing university students with these materials in their university space to grow with Google technology and have these tools readily accessible to them. So these are some of the programs that myself and my team uh, at Google look after for North America. Lots of communities, lots of fun stuff here. But diving into the Google Developer Experts program a little bit, uh, they're experts and thought leaders in the community. So these are, again, individuals who you know, help go uh, provide Google with these uh, feedback loops uh, to where like, hey, you know, I'm an expert in this field. Here's something that isn't working. And so they have that uh, more closer direct connection to the different product areas, but then they also go and speak about these uh, technology product areas to, out to the public and help share that knowledge out for us. So we help empower them to be able to do this. And they, they're just general developers. They come from startups. They come from enterprises. They're hobbyists. So you don't ha it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to only be in the enterprise space, um, as some other programs are. You just, you know, we empower you as an individual, as an expert in this space. And so we'd love to talk to you about it, love to learn more about your experience in this space. Some uh, eligibility things that we look for in candidates uh, as a GDE, obviously being an expert in the subject area. You know, that's, that's kind of an easy one there. But then we also want you to be active in the community. So either speaking at events, publishing on blogs, and answering questions on Stack Overflow, you know, YouTube vlogs, these kind of things. So being active, sharing your knowledge out into the community already. And then having the ability to communicate clearly about this technology and about, you know, how you work in this space. And uh, some of the things that we provide as benefits to this program 
uh, acknowledgement by Google. We do have a little badge that you can add to your social media uh, profile photos and stuff like that. Uh, invitation to exclusive events. Uh, some of you are familiar with like Google Cloud Next, Google I.O., these kind of big marquee events. Uh, we have some other marquee events for the different product areas like the TensorFlow Dev Summit, the Firebase Dev Summit. These type of events uh, GDEs get special invites to. Uh, and then obviously, like I mentioned before, access to the Google team. So this is where, you know, as somebody, as an expert in the space, you can work more closely with the TensorFlow team. You can work more closely with the Dialogflow team, for example. So you can work more closely with these teams to provide product feedback and then also get in on these early access uh, invites to new features that are rolling out and give them feedback on these new features that uh, may or may not roll out to the public, these kind of things. And then obviously an access to a global network of professionals. So the, you know, it is a, a network of individuals, but these individuals are a community. So we do hold events where these uh, GDEs can come together, network with each other, share experiences and tips. And resources on this. So if you want to learn more about the program, I, as I mentioned, there's a booth uh, during the breaks that we will have people stationed to answer more questions. You can find me throughout the day. Uh, but the, these are the channels that we e either re-promote or have our GDEs publish things on, like I mentioned, our Medium channel. But I know the big question, how do you apply? So if you're interested, there is an application process. It does go through an interview where um, you, know, you go through a community interview to make sure uh, you know, what you filled out on the, uh, on the application. So make sure to have your community contributions, things like that. So we go and review that. We also review your expertise. So you do go through an expert interview as part of it with a Googler to where they are like, yeah, sure. They do have some knowledge in this space and you know, I certify that they're an expert to move forward in the, in the interview process. So it, it is, it's not just a checkbox you're in kind of thing. So, so do know that we are verifying and vetting um, your expertise in this field. Uh, some other uh, fun things as part of, you know, furthering your learning journeys. This is uh, next uh, next year, so we do have a partnership with Coursera, where we do have a lot more machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, courses that we've uh, partnered with Coursera on to to do this. Um, so if you want to further your knowledge in this space, uh, we also have a partnership with Quick Labs. Uh, Google bought Quick Labs about two years ago. And so we've been developing a lot of our first party uh, Google Cloud Platform uh, learning materials there on Quick Labs. We do have a lot specific around machine learning space. Uh, we do have some opportunities for uh, free to cheaper learning uh, as part of our community program. So if you wanna join up through our either GDE or Google, develop, uh, Google developer groups, um, we do have some additional learning opportunities there. And our agenda, this might be a little, it's tiny for me, so uh, hopefully all of you can read it. Um, we do have our full agenda. This is almost up to date. We do ac uh, actually have a cancellation for our, our 215 slot. We're working to adjust it. Uh, unfortunately, Haley woke up sick this morning and she will not be able to be uh, sp uh, speaking today. And so we we're looking to cover that slot, but, but this is kind of where we're at. Um, we do have, uh, a few breaks lined up for you, and uh, I will announce this again, but at the lunch, uh, we will have a demo by one of our Google Teams on the What If tool, so I'll, I'll, uh, we'll learn that a little bit more after their talk, right before lunch. But if you want to uh, check out the schedule again, we have a bit.ly link here for you. Uh, so it's bit.ly ml-pittsburgh-19, so it's a very easy link to where you can go back and revisit the schedule anytime. We also are doing something different. We're requesting feedback before everything. So uh, I will have this link pop up throughout the day. And so it's, uh, you can continually uh, fill it out uh, throughout the day, ml-pit-feedback, and basically provide us that real-time feedback after each talk. So that way it's fresh in your mind and everything. But the, the fun thing is, we have a raffle at the end. So, 
So uh, if you're providing feedback and you um, have that filled out and submitted uh, by the end, and so this way it makes it easier to condense your feedback and to where you're not rushing at the end. So provide us that feedback. We do have a raffle at the end for a Google Home Max. So, so some pretty fun stuff. And this way you don't have to carry it. Ooh. This way you don't have to carry it. We have a nice easy voucher uh, that will ship it to you with. Uh, oh, and some other uh, housekeeping items. Um, the restrooms, uh, the main restroom lobby is by the elevators. There is a mother's room on the way there if anybody needs to take part in that. And then we do have a couple individual restrooms just past where the food was, but um, it's only a single person at a time. So uh, if there's a queue, there's um, more down by the elevator lobby. And I'm trying to remember if there's anything else as far as housekeeping. Um, but yeah, all of our meals and everything will be in this common area uh, and all of our breaks so you don't need to wander or figure out where you're going next. All of the talks will be in this room. And again, at any time, uh, pull aside one of us. There's myself or a guy tree who's at the back of the room giving me the one minute flag. <laughs> and, uh, but most importantly, you know, uh, we hope all of you enjoy the event today and looking forward to your feedback. And um, uh, again, you know, thank you all for coming out today. I know, uh, you know, it's Wednesday, middle of the week, so it's a little rough. I had to think about where I was for a second. Um, but yeah, so thank you all of you. Uh, thank all of you for being here today. I'm very excited to see how the event goes today and hear all of your feedback and hopefully get to meet with all of you, if not most of you. So thank you all for being here today.